Hey folks, Daily Lance blog for the 5th of August 2018. Casey Landsberg, uh, I have said this comment a lot and it's pretty contentious. I, I would say like 90% of people agree with it, 10% don't, and likely the 10% are people that have never experienced depression. But my comment is that if you haven't experienced, if you haven't felt, if you haven't suffered from a mental health problem like depression, then you can't understand it. You think you do, but you can't understand it. Do you think you understand mental illness case? Because, uh, hey, you've been around it a lot. No, I don't, un I don't understand what it feels like. Right. Now, do you, do you think, are you saying that only because... You're kicking me Because right it's now? like, yes, say it. No, but... No, but uh, I think it's the same for any illness. You don't know what my health struggles are like. You have health struggles? Well, I, I mean, I do know what it's like if I went like this and... <laughs> um, was I mocking you? See, that's what we do in my house. Case makes fun of my mental illness. Um, the way, that's the way we deal Why with it. Yeah, you do all the time, Case. You do all the time. Oh, I'm the only guy on the street with a crazy dad. <laughs> she doesn't say that. Speaking of the word crazy, we got to use that tomorrow. Okay, so here's the comment from today that I want to deal with. Uh, it was from uh, Adele Thomas, a loyal follower for sure. Uh, and what he said was, I'll, I'll, I'll shrink it down. I think it's great that people like Michael and other celebrities talk about their illness and issues, but to be honest, they don't know what it's like to deal with the mental illness when you are not well off financially and you do not have all the people around to support you. And Dale, you're so right. And I have said it, but not every time, and I should say it more often, that I believe that um, I've had this really bad illness, and I believe that my depression uh, has been really severe. But I also believe that one of the reasons why I made it back and why I can live a life on medication but still feel pretty good and lit, have quality of life is because of the advantages I have had. Because I have had access to mental health care. I have access to, um, to medications. I've been able to afford my medications. I've been able to go to a psychologist when I wanted to and I had to pay for it. I've had a family surrounding me that was supporting me. I've had people at work tell me if I needed time off. I could take time off. I never did, but I could take time off. I've had every single advantage. And therefore, even though the illness has been very severe, I've had the blessing of, the, um, of everything, all the assets that you need. So I do get that, Dale, and I believe that it's incredibly unfair. And I wish that I could share my assets with you to help you out. Because as tough as uh, an illness like this is when you have everything, I think it's probably a million times tougher when you don't. And, uh, and that's not right. Sicknowweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. Tomorrow case, we talk about the word crazy. Will you remind me? Yeah. Okay. I know. See ya.